soaking up the sun he is a real lover of making up the past and feeling up his girl like he's never felt a figure before a joke Looks good when he walks is the subject of their talk He would be hard to chase But good to catch and he could change the world With his hands behind his back, oh Hello everybody, I'm now in Brussels with Kamlan Choi Who also has to do a video later <laughs> Yeah, she's my rival. Anyway, so, no, so uh, Kamen was my. We, we grew up together, right? Yeah, Kamen. Yeah, and uh, oh yeah, we want to say hi to Singway. Hi Singway! Hi Singway! Does Singway watch a video? I don't know, but she will after this. <laughs> okay. Hey, do you know where to walk? Uh, all the way down. No, why is all the way down? Okay, never mind. So now we are staying at Kamen's friend's brother's house. Which is like damn nice, and now we're walking out to find the famous uh, oh. fries place. Is that the no? It's not. I don't think it's no, the one. Walk, we walk left, right? Yeah. So um, yeah. So basically, this is what all the small. This is like I don't know. It's like what a small street, like some of the small streets of Brussels, and. We have a lot to do because we have very limited time. So, it's in my pocket. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Hi everyone. So, Kamen and I just ate famous Belgian fries. We queued for like freaking long, like 45 minutes or something. Can see my pictures later. But honestly, I think they taste normal. But Kamen doesn't think so. She says that it's, they fried it twice. Okay, but whatever. Anyway, uh, this is the local pub. We are walking through here to get to... We're doing one of the walking trails that the tourist map um, recommends. So, yeah, it's just a normal park. I think the park in Lisbon is actually nicer. I think the other park will be nicer. Really? Well, this is like a small... This is not even a park. This is actually square, a playground. Um, we all play. Okay. So I think the park there will be better. Really? Okay, so yeah, see you later when we have more exciting things <laughs> to talk about. Hi everyone, I'm now at a comic museum with Kamen. She's making a lot of noise, but anyway, <laughs> look at her. Look at Kamen. <laughs> we're then retarded. I think we're then retarded. Hey, film me, film me, film me, film me, you. Anyway, so now we are at the Tintin, I mean we are at the Cartoon Museum. Uh, this is an exhibition on Tintin. So, anyway, I grew up watch, reading Tintin, so I think it's quite cool. But comments videos are not going to know sound, I don't know why. But, anyway, so Tintin is... I didn't know he was from Belgium. Actually, I don't think he is. Do you think he's from here? He's not, right? That's no idea. I remember reading it somewhere, but I can't remember. So, um, yeah, basically it's, oh, cool, look at this. This is the nat the Nati Professor in Tintin. Can you see the hologram? I don't know if you could see that. But this is the policeman. Uh, basically, they teach you how... It's really a Thompson Hill set up with these and then bricks. Huh? Another trick to prevent the reader from losing interest is by changing the story's pace. They're basically teaching you how to, how the comic, like, how they, they build the plot in a comic la. With the different styles of drawings and action and everything. So, yep. We only have like about half an hour left, so I'll catch you later. Hi everybody, we're actually nearing the Red Light District in Brussels and as you can see on the left, it's a some erotic peep show, live show, 128X Films. <laughs> Look, I come on again, filming at the back, behind me. Anyway, so, so basically there are a lot of 
Arabic shops. It is, it is what is uh, Arabic shops and what? What kind of influence uh, Turkish. Of, and Turkish influence? This this street is apparently the Arabic and Turkish. I'm not copying her. I am not copying. No, please. So at the same time, just because you went overseas for a longer period of time. No. Anyway. Hey, 15 euros, eh? The shoes. So anyway. Uh, there are a lot of textile shop, shops. Ten euros for uh, Tudong, I guess that's what you call it. Yeah. Hey, I don't see any red light. Further up, this is not the main street. Okay, so yeah, we're just walking along the street. We just went to the comic museum, but it was mostly in Dutch and French, and so we just. So we just oh we tried uh, a whole garden rose rose beer, which was good, highly recommended. So okay, I'll film later when we are reaching. Bye. And we really want like really, hi everyone. Really, really we are at a mannequin place, which is like some peeing boy. Come on, Zen angsty now. She keeps complaining. Sing way. Come on, I didn't know Kama was so angsty. Anyway. We walk, we circled like the whole uh, of um, the whole of Brussels. Like we walk around the city, the outskirts of it. So, but basically, yeah, actually, I feel like there's really nothing much to this city. I think it's more of the towns outside it. But anyway, this is a chocolate shop. I'm sure it's really expensive, and there are quite a few chocolate shops around this area. Like there's Godiva. Leonidas. I'm sure they're really expensive. Uh, and right now we're going to leave this place soon to have dinner with Chris and Tatian. Hi everybody, we're now in the Gothenburg area, which is like the grand, it's like the main square of um, the Belgium, of, of Brussels city. And this is what it's like. It's um, a lot of old, kind of reminds me of a bit of Munich. All the old buildings, Grand Palace or Parliament or something. Anyway, check out our Belgium waffle, which is damn good. The chocolate is damn good. Uh, and we're kind of uh, go now. Go for dinner. Let's go, come on. We're going for dinner. Where are you? Okay, so Kama has been navigating our way and she's pretty good at her direction, so. That's great. And yeah, see you. Yo, check. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We just finished um, dinner. We ate mussels. Uh, this is common time hey. of a video, wow. <laughs> And so, anyway, uh, we are now walking to find beer and to take. Reporting and, live from Brussels. <laughs> and Tutti and Chris are going to bring Yo, wow. us to some beer place. And. Yeah, we're staying here. That's why we know. Yeah, basically Brussels is quite expensive and oh yeah, oh look at the chocolate. Yeah, and there are a lot of touristy shops here that sell chocolates and and a lot of other touristy food. I don't know. Okay, I'm quite tired. I'm quite tired already, so I won't film now. Uh, see you again later. Bye. Hi everybody. Second shot. Come on, come on. Now I'm Bruce. And it's a very pretty place compared to um, Brussels. And it's very quaint and a small town. So right now we're just trying to navigate our way to... Actually, it's quite empty today, right? Yeah. I think because it's, it's a Sunday. So in general, like... They're at church or, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, but even if we were the same. Hey, so nice. Okay, Come on, take a picture of me. Okay. Okay, so catch you again later when we are at a tourist place. Bye. Hi everyone, Kama and I are now at the windmills of Bruges. As you can see in the background, there are like four of them all together. Uh, and we're just chilling and eating our dessert and taking photos. And we just went to the Basilica of the Precious Blood and some other church. The one with the with Michelangelo's sculpture of the mother and child. But 
can't still can't find the church that everyone talks about, the one where you climb up to see the great view and eat waffles. But we have about three more hours, so we're going to do that later. And so here is the windmill of Bruce. Yeah, I keep pronouncing Bruce wrongly. And Kama is getting very irritated. <laughs> but anyway, so see you later. Hi everyone, Kama and I are now in Antwerp. We decided to get out of Brussels and right now we are in Gothenburg, which is like one of the main squares of this place. And this is like some big, what's this? Uh? I don't know, I think it's like another cathedral. Uh. And uh, this is what Antwerp is like. It's a really old town, very different from um, Bruges and Brussels and okay some parts of it are like quite charming and quaint but I generally I think the city is generally quite old because like the buildings were peeling the bricks were forgotten and yeah but not bad and uh, this is supposed to be where 80% of the world's diamonds pass through so we haven't really seen the diamond street yet uh, and we have until about 4 p.m. because my train to the airport leaves. I mean, my bus, my train to the bus station to the airport leaves from here quite early. So, yep, that's all for now. See you later. Hi everyone. So basically, Kyle and I feel like we have almost finished and toured because shh, because there's really nothing much. This street is probably the shopping street Chris was talking about. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know, we finished quite... We, we think we finished, like, most of the town. But it's only been, like, one hour or something, right? So, I don't know. But basically, this is Antwerp. I don't know if this is the shopping street that everyone says uh, to go to. So... Uh, we're going to find lunch soon. Um, and yeah, welcome to Antwerp.